What's up, it's your boy Wavy, and today we're taking an in-depth look at the Amamanir 3s from the While You Were Sleeping collection in honor of the 10 year anniversary of Amamanir. This is one of six sneakers to release from the collection, including a pair of Jordan 4s, a pair of Jordan 39s, a pair of Converse, and a pair of Air Max 95s. This is also the second pair of Jordan 3s to release from Amma Manier, the first being the white pair from 2019, which I never got my hands on. When I first saw this sneaker online, I thought this sneaker was going to be hard to get and sell out instantly. I actually picked this pair up from the shot drop and I didn't even mean to. I was playing video games and I kept seeing Twitter notifications of people securing their pair and I was like, you know, let me check sneakers and I checked sneakers and they were all sitting. So I got these pretty easy. The sneaker market is down, so it isn't so much of a surprise, but the fact that this sneaker is so high quality and such premium material and you can get this for almost retail is insane. I picked up three pairs of sneakers from the Ahmad collection over the years, including a pair of Jordan 5, Dust and Dawn, and a pair of Jordan 12s. What I noticed is that Ahmad Manier always takes a classic colorway and kind of puts their own twist on it. For example, we have a pair of Black Cement 3s and we have a pair of Amma Manier 3s. If you look at them closely, they're almost identical. This sneaker just feels way more premium between the black leather, the new buck and suede, and the overall presentation. But if you look at the Jordan 5 Dust, those pretty much resemble the black metallic 5s. If you look at the Jordan 5 Dawns, those look like the Fire Reds. If you look at the Jordan 12s, those resemble the Flu Games. They pretty much replace all the reds with violet, but overall keep the same silhouette. But let me know in the comment section below, which pair look better to you? Me personally, I really like the earth tones and colors that Amma Manier uses, but I know a lot of people are getting tired of the same colorways over and over and over again. This sneaker features a premium black leather all throughout the sneaker. Then you got your premium suede that replaces the elephant print on the black cement 3s. Then you got these violet accents all throughout the sneaker from the eyelids to the side panel to even the tongue. And then you have your Jumpman logo on the right pair and your Ama branding on the left. This sneaker also features a bunch of little details like the Nike Air branding on the back. And if you pull that pull tab back, it also says do something about it in script. Then if you take the insole out, you have your Ama branding all on the insole. And then right on the base of the sneaker, it says while you were sleeping. This sneaker also has laces with branding on the eyelids. It says work harder and it comes with three pairs. So you could either swap them out to the violet. You can keep the black in or put the cream in. It has the AMA branding that was seen on the Dust and Dawn Jordan 5s on the back of the tongue. And you even got this quilted insole, which resembles the Jordan 12. And I know they use that in the Jordan 1 as well. But overall, I think this sneaker is well worth 225. When you get it in hand, it's pretty much a luxury sneaker. And I think anybody who has this sneaker would agree. But let me know in the comment section below, are you feeling this sneaker or not? Or do you prefer the white pair better? But what I'm gonna do now, I've seen videos and pictures all over the internet of this sneaker with cream laces. So I wanna put some cream laces in this sneaker and I'm gonna do that right now. Also, if you guys like this t-shirt, this is the new drop from Fagos. It features Muhammad Ali and Lee Carr. My grandpa was a boxer back in the day and he sparred against Muhammad Ali, which inspired this t-shirt. And you can pick it up now at Fagos.com. But let's get back to the sneakers. We're gonna put the cream laces in this sneaker and then we're gonna put the violet laces in the other and we're gonna see which one looks better. Back in the day when I used to buy a pair of sneakers, I used to really be hype, you know what I mean? I was like, you know what? I got a pair of sneakers, I was hype. But nowadays when I buy sneakers, I'm like, yo, that's $300 out my pocket. Like, I don't know. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older and I have pretty much all the sneakers I could ask for or if I'm just falling out of love with it. But let me know in the comment section below if you guys feel the same way. Like I missed out on a lot of drops. The Wet Cement 4s came out and I thought I was gonna want those a lot. But when they dropped, I kind of just slept on them. I didn't want them. Also, the Military 4s came out earlier this year and I picked them up, but I haven't wore them once. Am I the only person who buys shoes and then looks up how to lace them? Because I'm lacing this sneaker right now and it looks kind of off. But honestly, the cream laces look beautiful in this sneaker. Like, hold up. Let me finish this because these, these cream laces look OD in this sneaker. I have the cream laces in my Jordan 5s, but yo, these are OD. Hold up. All right, so this is what it looks like with the cream laces. And I'm going to tie them. That looks incomplete. Honestly, they look better because they match the, the midsole a lot. These look fire. I'm gonna put the violet laces in the other pair and you let me know which one look better, all right? So let me get the violet laces now. Again, all these laces feature the same branding on the aglets. It says work harder. Um, let me put the violet laces. Ooh, yo, hold up. The violet laces might be it, hold up. I'm putting the violet pair of laces in right now and honestly, these look OD. I feel like the violet laces might be better. 
I don't know. I don't know. We got to see. We got to see. Because I already have the cream laces in the Jordan 5s. You know, I don't want to be redundant. If you guys have this sneaker, what laces did you guys put in them? Let me know. Woo, okay. Now, nah, hold up. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you both pairs right now. Check it out. Here we go. All right, look. So don't mind, don't mind the lace job because lace job is pretty lackluster. Here's what they look like with the cream laces in them. And here's what they look like with the violet laces in them. Let me know in the comment section below which one are you guys feeling more. The cream or the violet. Both pairs right here. Both pairs. Cream, violet. Which one are y'all rocking with more? The cream pair or the violet pair? Which will look better? This is a good thumbnail right here. I don't know which one I'm rocking with more, honestly. Both of these look OD. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Check out Fagos.com to pick up this t-shirt. And don't forget to turn on post notifications so you never miss another video. I also have a pair of Jordan 4s from this collection coming very soon. So if you guys want to see a review on that, let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.